So today, let me just... Today we're making white chocolate blondies, which is essentially a white chocolate brownie, but slightly different. Sort of same sort of texture. It's similar, but not the exact same. So we're going to follow it exactly. I've halved all the ingredients like I always do. So you need, I'm going to tell you the full amount, you need 225 butter, um, an extra for greasing your tin, you need 200 grams of chocolate, white chocolate or 100 grams if you're half in it. The problem is these bars that I've just bought are 90 grams, so I need, um, I need well, one on a slight bit, so I have to buy two. 170 grams of plain flour and half a tablespoon of baking powder. If you like me and don't have baking powder, you can use self raising flour. 200 grams of soft brown sugar. 100 grams of caster sugar. Three eggs. If you're halving it, depending on the size of the eggs, use one or two. Mine are not that big, so I'm going to use two. And then optional vanilla extract. So the first thing it says. <coughs> Grease a tin. Now I don't know which one to grease, the big one or the small one. So I'm not going to grease it to the end, depending on how much mixture we get. Actually, I might just do the. I might grease a little, one. but then I might have a lot of mixture. So I'm not going to grease mine until I know how much mixture we've got. I know its size to use. Um, maybe I should measure. Twenty by twenty, I think. Um, oh, it's in meters. I don't know how many twenty centimeters. Don't know if it says centimeters on this. Oh. I've got thirteen. I think I might need a bigger one, but we'll see when we um, come to make it, and then preheat the oven. So we're gonna pre don't say preheat the oven, yeah just preheat the oven to 180 degrees of gas mat four. So we're gonna put it on 180, which is bang on half. Now I don't know which ball I'm gonna need either, bigger or small, but it's gonna be bigger. And we're gonna put the smaller one away. So we're going to boil some water in this kettle for the melting the chocolate with the butter. So this part is the same, but instead of dark chocolate, we're using white chocolate. So it is the same. This bit so far is the same. So I'm going to, I need to actually, you don't have a bag of time, so I need to crack on with this. I don't really know where to put this. So we're going to need some butter out of the fridge. Baking butter we don't actually have. I have a good hand bit for you to do it. I want baking butter stock, but then there won't be enough. So we're going to use, I can't believe it's not butter. So I'm way out of this box. I can leave a pan out for you. Pieces. Right, I don't have that. Like a block. There's great much of a pan out of this. I don't know whether using two different buttons makes a difference or not. Right, we only got 20 grams out of that. I have half of it, so I need 112 to 5.
gently sim more to stir a few minutes. So that is what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to break the chocolate straight into the bowl that we're melting in. Why not? So I literally need all of this and a tiny bit of that. So that means another day I was throwing a video with the other bar of chocolate so I'm not going to waste it. There's some else white chocolate tea is going to come. A bit like um, the brownies, I had like 50, 60 grams left. I had like half one of these left. And then I made some chocolate chunk cookies. But that's too similar to doing white chocolate chip cookies. But it's just the exact same. But this isn't the exact same as brownies. So we're gonna. Do you know how they've got little cubes? A little section of cube, like two cubes. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it into the cubes. And then we need 10 grams of this one. So. Open this up. I'm going to put a slightly bit extra in because why not? So I'm going to put the other half in the cupboard ready for another week or whatever fancy making. So we need water in the bottom as you fill you pan half. Otherwise it will boil over. And I'm going to gently stir we're going to gently stir this for a few minutes. So it says Place the butter and 100 grams of the white chocolate in a bowl, spend it over a bowl, a, pa a, a thin over a pan, and gently simmer with water. Stir every few minutes. So, we get the heat on it. And we're also going to place the butter into this and we're going to just let that melt gently for me. Don't put your spoon in or it will go hot and not worth touching. So whilst that's melting we can do the next part. Well I'll say the next part, we need that bowl. But we can weigh out some stuff we need. So we can weigh out the sugars. We're going to put both, we're going to put sugars in one bowl, flour in the other. And if you are doing plain flour and baking powder, they can go in one bowl. And then sugar can go in the bowl. If you don't have plain flour, you have to use self raising. The whole point is plain flour, the baking powder helps the baking powder help the flour to rise because plain flour doesn't have any raising agent in it, but self raising flour does. So if you don't have if you if you always have a recipe, let's say you use baking powder, if you always have a recipe that says Plain flour with baking powder, you don't have baking powder, just use self raising and it works the exact same. So we need half of it, so 175, we're going to have 87 grams of this. I'm going to sieve it into that eventually. Um, so that's 90, but we'll just make do with that. So in this bowl, we're going to have 100 grams of. So it works 200 light brown sugar and 100 grams of sugar, pasta sugar, so I'm going to do 150, so we're going to have 100 of this. Got 100 of that, and then we need 50 of this, or 100 of you in the full amount. way too much and to put them back. Okay. 
So I need to stir this because as you can tell, it's melting away nicely. I actually like white chocolate, this is something I'm going to like, unlike the brownies, I couldn't even taste. They were brown, they were Father's Day brownies, so it's not really up to me. I don't know why it's going to call a white chocolate brownie, but mainly because you don't have white chocolate brownies, I guess, so they call it a white chocolate blondie. So this is like melting, but it's still got like, but it's still got lumps in. done. Now I don't want to burn the surface with the bowl so I might use a pan pan thing. A pan um, stand thing. I don't want to burn the table. So that is done. The bowl is hot so be careful. Well the underneath it will be. And then you can tip your water down the sink and you literally just dry it. So now that bit's done, we're going to put the sugars and flowers and bits and bobs away that you weighed out. You can no longer need them. And now it's say, place the sugar and egg into a bowl. With until it's until it looks thick and foamy. We did not do this with the brownies. Make the egg all nice and thick and foamy. So we're actually gonna need another bowl now. There's sugar and eggs. Make me sugars. Anyway, we need another bowl for this egg and the sugar together. Um Now, this thing we did not do with the brownie. We did not um, do the egg and sugar so that it became fluffy and foamy. But is that what it means? I mean, so you can't do one and a half eggs. So I'm going to put two in. You're going to quite small. They're not exactly large. And then we need to mix this until it's thick and foamy, which. Basically, mix it for a bit of time. Whereas with the brownie, we didn't, but we'd have mixed it. We didn't like foam up. So this is the bit you don't do with the brownies. So I'm gonna sure I put it on there because it's hot. But we're gonna move that across. Put this here so you can see what I'm up to. So thick and foamy. This might take a while actually to think about it. Thick and foamy. I have done that with egg and sugar before, but never brown sugar. So I don't know whether the brown sugar is meant to be in now or not. I might uh, pause it here and then get back to you when it's done because I have a feeling this might take about 10 minutes. I think we've done something similar to this before when we did the Swiss roll when we constantly beated it for a while. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do it for about 5 10 minutes and I'll come back to you because there's no point you watching me stir it. So I reckon it's done. So I'm not 100% convinced. I'm saying that's done. Um, this will take a few minutes. A few minutes. The 
the mix extra. together. So now we're putting the two together. So this is a bigger bowl so we're going to have to put this in here. Would have been easier the other way around but I reckon that's done or if not we'll look far off. Getting all the stickiness off my hands. And now you're going to fold in the flour to try and not lose any of the air. I'm going to give this a mix. Right, so when you do your grease proof paper, make sure you go right to the edges. Now we're going to fold in the flour, but you need to sieve it if you don't get any lumps. And you were, yeah, if your baking powder's in it, you sieve that as well. Pour it all in. Mine stuck a bit because it was in the butter bowl originally. I'm going to. And then what you do is you get your spoon, you lift. And fold, lift and fold, lift and fold, lift and fold. You can mix it around like this, but you don't particularly want to knock out any of the air from the egg and the sugar. So if you are going to do that, do that and leave it. Now you're gonna pour it into your baking tray, container, cake, tin, whatever you've got to put it in. Definitely the bigger one because it's light. All I say with BBC Good Food, which this recipe is from, it does use um, what do you call it? It does use a lot. It does use a lot, it does make a lot, so even when you half it, it still might be. Sometimes I feel like I don't need, I need just under half, but it's hard to work out, so I just do half. But what I'm saying is, it makes a lot, so I would recommend half in it, if not like loads of you. This now goes into the oven. It is 30 minutes. This goes. It says pour the mixture into the tin, smoothen it in the corner, bake for 30 minutes. If you prefer a cakey texture, leave for another five. Check if the blonde is cooked by giving the tin a gentle shake. They should be mostly set by a little bit of wobble in the centre. Cool completely in the tin. The blondies will stick in the middle as they cool. Just like brownies, if you try to remove the blondies too soon, they'll be soft to cut, so be patient. So now this is going to go in for 30 minutes. And the oven's been on for around 20 minutes. So in 30 minutes time that will be cooked. And um, we'll chop it up, we'll try it. And yeah, we'll go from there. See you in about 30 minutes. So it's not minutes. really a major problem, but I've cut it hot. And it's broken a bit on the top. So that's not great. I did empty the dishwasher, I haven't filled it yet, but if I did have something to do for 10 minutes. Um, so, I have basically cut it up, but I, I, I cut it hot, so ideally you need to let it cool down, but I didn't have time for that. It is extremely hot, I might use a fork, but I basically cut it into nine pieces, 
but it has broken on the top because it's warm. We've had time to cool it down, our water done, but my run was about 20 minutes overdue already. And I've got some water here, in case, and in case. So the top's not, you can drill some icing over, you can do some decorative stuff to it, but I started this way too late and I'm about half an hour behind. So, tomorrow I'll make sure I, if I'm making something, I'll make it earlier. Then I'm gonna, what I was gonna do in that half an hour, find a recipe for the other bit of chocolate that I've got left. I've got about 75-ish grams. Um, and I've got to do that. But I will find a recipe and try it tomorrow. This is a, this is technically a white chocolate blondie which I call it a white chocolate brownie, but it's official name, white chocolate blonde. I don't know if they're putting this light on, even though we're not using the cooker, makes any difference. But you can see the texture, it's going to be very hot. It's sort of like a cake, like a white chocolate cake, I guess. So good though, but it does need some sort of icing. Maybe not. I think I might give it a seven, mainly because it broke. But then it was my fault for doing it hot. But anyway, thank you so so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And then yeah. There'll be one more video with um, the rest of that chocolate. There'll be another white chocolate video coming next, which I'll probably film tomorrow. And then I'll move on. I know I said I'd do sections. Then I'm on a dessert section. I might go back to like savoury stuff soon because this is my fifth or sixth savoury video and a sweet video. I've still got one more to go. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that. This is the fourth video of July. I'm day of filming is only the seventh. So I'm doing well, um, I'm going to try and keep up with this and I'll see you so very very soon, bye. Quick extra that I forgot to tell you, um, these if you put them in the fridge in a closed sealed container but only once they're cooled, they will last up to 5 days, so basically to the end of the week, thought I would let you know, so bye.